Jermon, you're, you're laughing at the score sheet. What did you see from the score sheet on this game, and what do you think? Where do you think it went wrong? Uh, we lost one eighteen and ninety four. That's what I was laughing at. Uh, I think they were just more. They were more physical than us the whole game. <clears throat> Jermon, you guys aren't used to having your season end so so early. What are the emotions? As maybe you're either checking out of the game for the last time, you guys are walking off the court for the final time, seeing Clay turn back and kind of take in the scene. What are the emotions for you in those moments? Uh, just kind of upset. It's a loss. Um, it was a fun group to come to work with every day. So kind of sucks that that comes to an end. But yeah, I don't really know. Do you? have confidence that you know it's a fun group to come work with every day do you have confidence that this group will still be the core group here next season uh yeah i have no reason not to um you know they've stuck with us through the good and the bad not so great this year but can't win every year so yeah i do have confidence until it's no longer how vocal will you be about the need to bring clay back i mean he's that's kind of the, the biggest question lingering um, yeah, I mean, obviously we want Clay back. You know, it's, um, you know, we've been through a lot. Uh, you know, incredible highs, some shitty lows. Um, but the common denominator through both of them is that we've gone through each and every scenario together, you know, so, um, <clears throat> You know, it's obvious that we want to continue what we've been doing, but you know, I understand he got a decision to make. Uh, he going to make the best decision for him. Um, team got a decision to make. Uh, they'll make the best decision for the team. But, you know, um, <clears throat> I have no doubt that even if, you know, which I don't think there's any scenario where Clay leaves and that's the best decision for this team and organization, uh, but what I don't doubt is if if Joe or Mike or anybody felt that it was best that this team moved forward without Clay, that wouldn't be the decision they make because they believe that. You know, um, they've shown nothing but respect, loyalty, um, love, trust to us. So I got no reason to go into it like, oh, man, they're not going to do right by Clay. They did right by me. Uh, they've done right by Steph. They've done right by all of us. You know, Clay got – Clay tore his ACL. Um, they paid him $160 million. So I have no reason to think that our ownership group aren't going to take care of us – the way we've taken care of this organization. Uh, like I said, ultimately that decision will be Clay's. <clears throat> but I don't look at it like, oh man, they're gonna only do what's, there's a lot of organizations that will only do what's best for the organization. This ain't one of them. Dream on as soon as, even as you guys went through this up and down season, you get ready for this game. Before this game, when you look at Steph and Clay, how much belief is there from you about what you guys can do going into this game? I always got belief uh, coming into games like this, do or die situations. You know, um, each and every time uh, those guys come through. Uh, you know, Clay had a rough shooting night tonight, but he competed. Uh, you know, shots don't always fall. Uh, we got some, got him some great looks. They just didn't go in. Um, shots that he hit. Any other time, they just didn't fall. And so I always ride with those guys, man. They always uh, step up to the challenge. And it's no different than night shots just didn't go in. You guys are proud, and you guys have had a lot of accomplishments. How hard was it to take a game like this at this time? Uh, loss is a loss. I don't really look at it like, oh, man, this game and what happened, and we're done uh, this year. So it's just that. Dre, how would you categorize this season for you personally? Um, interesting, very interesting, but it was fun. Always enjoy playing basketball. Um, like I said, going to war with those guys in that locker room each and every night was made anything that I went through personally worth it, uh, because I got to step back in there with the guys that had my back each and every day. Uh, so I never really look at it like from a 
personal standpoint, you know, I've had incredible years where I've been all-star, defensive player of the year, champion, all of that. It's never about what it what it necessarily is for me personally, you know. So uh, I'm always one I take the good with the bad. Uh, you know, I don't – not a front runner. I don't only show up when it's good. I show up even more when it's bad, you know, and uh, – through the through the ups and downs in this season, uh, anytime you know it's time to show up, and you know I and that's what I would do, you know. And I said uh, the the bumps in the road along the way that sucked uh, made it a lot easier walking in the locker room and practice with those guys. So uh, interesting, nonetheless. I think I grew a lot, and. Uh, you know, you take that growth, you channel it, find other ways to grow, get better, keep pushing forward. Uh, Draymond, um, those first couple games of the season that you guys played the uh, Kings, uh, we were, you know, discussing that you had the Kings number at the time, and you were saying, well, you didn't think so, but it, it was just part of the learning process. Now they got one, and they get to move on. Do you have any? Uh, you know, parting ways, you know, at least for this season, uh, you know, how they've been playing, because they did have some uh, bad losses, but they withstand that. And like I said, they got you tonight. Yeah, it's a good team. Uh, you know, I don't think any differently of them because they won than I thought before. Uh, you know, what they're capable of. It's a team that took us to seven last year and were able to pull out that series. Uh, but, you know, they're a team to be reckoned with. You know, not last year, not this year, but. You know, as this the years move forward, uh, they'll be right there. You know, great coaching staff, uh, ownership group has done an incredible job. Fox is taking that next step. Uh, Sabonis, Keegan Murray continues to grow. Uh, HB being that solid vet for them. Uh, you know, they got a good thing going. And you said down the stretch wasn't ideal for them. Uh, to even be in this situation wasn't ideal. But you got to take the cards that you dealt. Uh, and play the hand. And so, you know, they, they're doing a good job of that. They came out victorious tonight. And it'll be interesting to watch and see their grow. Jermans, even when you guys were under 500, Steve always said that this was one of his favorite groups to coach, and he really loved coaching this group. And you alluded to how much you like playing with this group. Why do you think that is, even on a season where you guys didn't get to where you wanted to go, there was that enjoyment? And what is the lasting memory of this group, even you know, right at this point? Yeah, this team been through a lot, man. Um, you know, and through it all, nobody ever wavered. You know, you can appreciate a group like that. Um, chemistry on this team is great, you know, which always helps. Uh, and it was a fun group, you know, to show up with every single day. Uh, when the times were great, the group was great. When the times was bad, the group was great, you know. And so, um, yeah, you know, I, what you take away from it is obviously it didn't end the way we wanted to end, but... It was fun going to work each and every day. Draymond, you guys had 46 wins. Normal years, you're somewhere near the middle of the conference. This year, you're in the play-in. Do you look at that and say, man, it's just a weird year? Or do you say, man, it's a lot of teams between us and getting back to the top? Uh, every year, there's 29 teams in between you and getting to the top. So I don't view this one as any different than that. But uh, I think I view that as the league has gotten better. You know, uh, you're either getting better or you're getting worse. And I think the league is improving. So I don't uh, necessarily view it as like next year, if we got 46 wins, it'll be more normal and you'll be in fourth seed or sixth seed. I don't think that's the case. Uh, I think the league has improved and it's going to continue to get better. So, like, you got to figure it out. And I think, you know, when we look at our season, we lost. I mean, we won 46 games. I can count on you right now. I can count six losses to you right off the top of my head that, like, we gave away, you know? And so I think the learning experience is the games that you're supposed to win, you have to win. And 
some of the games that you're not supposed to win, you got to pluck a few of those away too. And that's becoming more and more true in this league uh, with the parity that, that there is in the NBA. And I think, um, <clears throat> you know, I try to pride myself on being a guy who understands the business of basketball, understand the rules. And I think you're, we're going to see more of that uh, with the new salary restrictions and tax levels and all those things. I think you're going to see more parity because of that. And so... I don't think um, I don't think that's going anywhere. I think that's going to be more and more that way rather than reverting back the opposite way. Thank you. Appreciate that. Your, your season with Chris, uh, what did you think of you know how he handled uh, you know the job he had to do and, and kind of his I guess unknown future with you guys? Ah uh, man, Chris was great. Um, I'm thankful and honored. Uh, happy as hell that I got the opportunity to play with him this year, uh, that we all got the opportunity to, to be teammates with Chris. Uh, it's not something in a million years, as I've said a million times, um, that we ever would have imagined. And, you know, other than winning, couldn't have gone any better. Uh, learned so much from him, uh, built a relationship that will go beyond whether he's here next year or not, whether I'm here next year or not, uh, you know, and so... Man, extremely thankful for C. Um, you know, there's, there's not, um, I haven't come across many, if any, guys like that in this league, you know, and so it was just an honor to play with him. Um, as a teammate, I hope, you know, we get to continue doing what we do here in these uniforms. And man, I, I hope and pray that he's back. Uh, and that I'm back because it's an honor having him as a teammate. The way he competes, uh, you know, you love going to war with guys like that. Great. Thank you.